Well, I'm joined at Melwood by uh, David Lynch from the uh, Evening Standard. He's a Liverpool correspondent. Uh, David, thank you for joining me. Um, so, we've just come out of Jurgen Klopp's uh, press conference. His first one after a defeat this season uh, against Napoli in, uh, in um, Naples on Tuesday. What were your thoughts on that performance? Yeah, I think, that, as, as Jürgen said in the press conference, I, I thought Liverpool played pretty well, really, throughout the game. And, you know, one of those, you come away and sort of scratching your head at how they lost. You know, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a very good Napoli side in, in their own backyard and a, a big atmosphere and, you know, looked like they were on the way to a, a decent point, but just wasn't to be, you know, pretty unfortunate with the penalty call, maybe, and, and just one of those games where things sometimes go against you. But I don't think you'd be too worried about the way they performed over there. Um, a rare mistake by Virgil van Dijk at the end there, we don't see that very often. It just proved that he is human though, isn't it? Yeah, it's very much so. And I, I suppose if he's going to make those mistakes, which he you know, he very rarely very rarely does, um, maybe get it out of your system in a game like that where you're already probably going to lose it. Um, yeah, I don't, again, not something I think you're going to worry about too much. Obviously, van Dijk's been absolutely imperious since he signed for Liverpool. It's just one of those things that happens sometimes, I suppose. And of course, if you look down the road, Man City are now without two key centre backs, no Laporte, no Stones. Um, Jürgen was asked about that in the press conference about how we would cope with Virgil van Dijk was to be missing. It, he seemed to make light of it, but what's your view on that? Yeah, I think he'd be an unbelievably huge miss for Liverpool. Uh, they, they probably couldn't cope without him. I don't. I think, you know, for, from Manchester City's perspective, the players they've lost. I think the biggest difference between maybe the two sides has been the fact that City have got that greater depth. And I think the the injuries that City have had this season, the the ACL injuries that they're building up, is that you know has maybe closed the gap between the two. Whereas, but if Liverpool were to suffer a big injury like to someone like Van Dijk, who's so crucial, I think you know that would be more damaging to them than it is maybe for Manchester City. So yeah, he, he laughed it off there but he'd be fingers crossed that you know that wouldn't happen to Liverpool this season because it would be massive for them. Well the good news is uh, Virgil van Dijk is fit and firing for Sunday. Big game uh, at Stamford Bridge at Chelsea. Uh, it was also pointed out I think um, Liverpool have only won once away from home since 2016 where they last won at Stamford Bridge. Uh, how do you see that one playing out on Sunday? Yeah, it's that, that record something maybe worth thinking about. You know, in these games, you've seen Liverpool going to these big places, these difficult top six games, and, and maybe not just quite playing at the best. You know, they've been they've got quite a few draws in there, so they've you know they've not been poor exactly in those games, but they'll want to get that statement win. And you know, Chelsea in the Super Cup earlier this season that was a difficult game. Chelsea maybe surprised Liverpool with how they played in that because you know such a young team and, and a, a novice manager really at, at the helm you'd maybe have expected that to be more straightforward for Liverpool but that was a, a really tough game and I expect this one to be as well but Liverpool they know they've got that five point lead over Manchester City they will want to extend that they don't want to be dropping points at any, you know even in these sorts of games so you know big test for Liverpool but you know one that they'll think they've got the experience and the quality that, that maybe that Chelsea team doesn't have at the moment and they should be backing themselves to get three points I think. Thank you, David. So, big game for Liverpool on Sunday. It's half four at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea, where they will be looking to uh, hold a five-point lead at the top of the Premier League. Richard Garnett from Melwood for Team Talk.